Okay, folks, welcome back. As you know, it's been a while. I have been out to lunch for a little over a month now. I do have an excuse, but it's not a good one. I had to move, so it took a lot of stuff changing around and whatnot. But anyway, I'm back. Um, we're going to get into the tournament here. Obviously, you can see on the top which one we're playing. And let's get into it so this is the one where you're going to bounce it off in front of that little sand trap there and try to cut it around the corner and get yourself either in chipping distance or if you've got the proper clubs and ball you can probably be sitting on the green now depending on the wind we got to check this out to see where it is it's usually in our favor whether it's going to be or not we'll find out in a couple seconds here now <clears throat> what are we going to end up with? Now, I know there have been a lot of screw-ups going on with this uh, new update. Uh, hopefully, they've got them all fixed now. I haven't uh, kind of put it down and uh, didn't play because it was just taking all my coins. So, I was like, until they fix it, I'm just not going to play. But, again, here we go. Start the tournament. And, uh, wow, minute and a half and it still hasn't loaded there we go so oh it's not a favorable wind at all tough one um, I mean you can see yeah, it's gonna be tough to get around there it they've moved the course a bit as a as you can see um, they put the uh, grapevines up there what is that thing? Oh, there's a balloon, hot air balloon. <laughs> but anyway, there's your spot. Right where he's putting it, that's what your spot's going to be. Now, you're going to have to play that wind like crazy. And don't miss, obviously, because you're going to end up in the rough and not go too far. But it is a par 4, so if you do screw it up, um, you're definitely going to be able to make the green on your next shot no matter what. Now here, ooh, did it get up there far enough for an easy chip? Almost. That's a long way, so I'm not thinking unless you're using, yeah, with the wind, this is a brutal wind, just brutal. And I'm not using a special ball for this, because obviously we're going to have to um, save those for the weekend. But, let's see if we can't get ourselves up there. Perfect shot. Well, we hit perfect. Is it going to land perfect? Yeah, I'm a bit too far over to in the sand trap. So a bit too much, well, it wasn't a bit too much curl. It was the fact that it didn't go far enough. Now that obviously being the major problem here so if you're using maybe a titan ball there or you know um the dead ball you're probably going to get a bit further uh, club distance and get yourself over that sand trap rolling it right towards the uh, the green itself but again, it's, uh, you know, first attempt here, so you got three days. If you don't happen to uh, pull it off, well, it's not the big deal. You got two other days to do it. Now, if you also played in a higher level, like say expert, and you should have been playing in pro, well, if you fail, you can go back down to pro tomorrow. Not the end of the world. Now, most of the numbers I've been seeing in my um, bracket here is a minus 11 I do believe was leading Great and uh, pretty much I'm thinking if you get yourself birdie 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 all the way through with a minus 9 you're probably going to qualify then again there might be a lot of minus 10s it should be fairly... You would think that the par 5s, you should be able to eagle, so... I don't know. We'll find out here soon enough. 
So we got ourselves a birdie on the first hole, so that's a semi good start. I'm guessing there's going to be a way to get yourself into either chipping position with a different ball, and you might be able to get yourself an eagle out of this hole. <clears throat> now to get the victory, I'm guessing that's probably going to what you're going to have to do. But anyway, I don't want this video to go too long. I'm not going to show you the shootout. I'll probably just um, forfeit it anyway. But thanks for watching. We'll catch you on hole number two.